Now we've seen students wearing masks this week. We've heard lots of numbers, but what's the truth and how big of concern is this coronavirus really? We've heard words like deadly, outbreak, and public health emergency connected to the novel coronavirus. There's a lot of things we don't know yet, and that's, I think, what's uh, kind of caused a lot of the anxiety. Dr. Kevin Steffen is an infectious disease specialist with eInfection MD, who's helping us with the facts. First up, we've seen them all over the ASU Tempe campus. Students wearing masks after a case of coronavirus was confirmed in the community. But do they do any good? Really what they're designed for is to prevent the transmission from the person wearing them to someone else. You know, if you're wearing them thinking you're protecting yourself, you're really not doing that much good. Eight coronavirus cases have been confirmed in the U.S., most recently in Massachusetts. Only one case in the country has spread from person to person. So is widespread transmission an issue? The simple answer, no. So we're not seeing other cases throughout communities of patient to patient spread. And finally, what's of more concern, coronavirus or the flu? Well, it's not even close, to be honest with you. We're up to about 19 million cases of influenza versus eight cases. Uh, of coronavirus and, you know, about 10,000 deaths from the uh, influenza versus none in the United States. And Stefan adds to the best information right now shows coronavirus is no more contagious than the flu. So he recommends taking usual precautions you would take to avoid all respiratory diseases. Mitch.